Dutch But First Coffee, where life begins after coffee. Today I'm going to be sharing with you DIY gifts that don't suck. This video is also a collab with the amazing Laura Reed. She'll be sharing some additional DIY gifts, but hers are for the man in your life. I will have a link to her video and her channel in the down bar. She has one of those YouTube channels that when I see one of her most recent videos in my newsfeed, like I always gotta click on it and watch it. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into these DIY gifts. Come on. Alright, the first thing we're gonna make is a sugar scrub, and of course, since this is Buffer's Coffee, we're gonna make a coffee sugar scrub. You're gonna wanna combine equal parts of coarse raw sugar with olive oil. And then for the best part, we are going to add coffee. I have about two tablespoons, maybe three tablespoons of used coffee grounds. And then all you need to jar it, I like to use my old Bath & Body Works candles jars. If you just pop your candle in the freezer when it's like totally done, you'll be able to pop that last little bit of wax out and use it for all your DIY projects. All right, next we are going to make nail polish marbled mugs. You're going to need some nail polish in a couple of different colors, as well as a white mug. I got this one at Walmart for 89 cents. Bargain. You're also going to want a Tupperware that you don't care if it gets ruined, and you're gonna to wanna to fill it with hot water. Okay, using the different nail polish colors, you're gonna add a couple drops of each one. Using a toothpick, swirl the polish slightly, then dip the mug into the water, and use that toothpick to pick up any of the excess nail polish in the water. And then you're just going to want to take it and place it on a paper towel to dry. Alright, for our next DIY gift we are going to make infused vodka for those of our friends that are the legal drinking age. You're going to combine the vodka with whatever, you, whatever flavor you want to infuse it with. And then you want to let it sit for about two or three days. You don't want to sit, let it sit too long or the flavors will get bitter. For our next DIY, we are going to make some gold dipped wine glasses. If you hold them up to your ear, the actually the wine gods talk to you. What's what's that wine god? I should I should drink wine while I make the wine glasses? I don't I couldn't do that. Alright, you're the boss, I'll do it. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Alright, using a little bit of painter's tape, I'm going to tape off where I want my gold to be. I'm just gonna like keep taping until shit starts to look about how I want it to look. Shake can vigorously for one minute. Okay. Face drop, I'm here to spend money cause that's what I does. I'm looking for a freak cause that's what I does. That's what I does. Using a gold enamel spray paint, spray any exposed glass and then follow up with a clear sealant spray paint. Then once they're dry, you can simply pull off the tape and reveal an adorable gold-dipped wine glass. For our next DIY gift, we are going to make granola. So you're going to combine three cups of oats with one cup of each of the nuts that you would like to use and a quarter cup of brown sugar. In a smaller separate bowl, you're gonna combine a quarter cup of olive oil with a quarter cup of maple syrup. Then simply pour this liquid mixture into the granola mixture and combine it well. Place this into an oven at 250 degrees for about an hour to an hour and a half. You're gonna to wanna to check it every 15 to 20 minutes. Give it a little stir and make sure it's browning up good. When the granola is golden brown and crispy, remove it from the oven and let it cool and then you can pour it into different jars or whatever boxes you're going to use. And then a cute thing that I like to do is add a small label to it. I got these cute chalk labels um, from Amazon. I'll put a link in the down bar for where you can get these. They're perfect for DIYing. And then you've easily just made a big batch of gifts to give away to all sorts of different people. Nobody is going to be sad that you gave them homemade granola. So delicious. Alright, our next DIY involves the gift card, which is kind of like the original DIY. I start by going to the gift card mall a station at my local grocery store where all of the gift cards are. You can grab gift cards for like everybody on your list and then I like to just put them in little mugs or I put them in a cute little cup and I fill it up with some candy. It's just a cuter way to give a gift card but it feels a little bit more personalized. Alright next we are going to make these adorable little pedicure jars. So all you need to do is collect some things that somebody would use for a pedicure and you're just gonna fill up a little jar. I got these ones from like the dollar spot in Target. You could use mason jars. I'm going to top it off with a bow because we all know that bows make everything look better. That does 
it for today's video and all of my DIY gifts that don't suck. I also want to let you know that I do have a giveaway going on. Right now I'm giving away three of the Balm's nude meat matte palettes. There's a link in the down bar to enter that. As always, thank you so, so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you liked this video enough that you will hit that subscribe button down below so that you won't miss any more of my videos. But until next time, I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video. This wine's definitely a couple of days old. It's like right on the border of maybe I shouldn't be drinking.